Well, God bless you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome each and every one of you once again to a wonderful evening. And glory to God be the honor. And uh, it is well. And uh, if you are just waking up, I say good morning. But however, it is well. I want to thank God for each and every one of you, all my viewers. As usual, I lift up every family, every father in the home, the, the mothers of the home, and the children above all our beloved ones. Let God keep and prosper you and hear your cry and make a way. I need to appreciate once again all my viewers as usual. You have been fantastic when you call in or when you text. Like, like yesterday, the guy that was texting was so sure of his facts. And that has improved our program, improved the teaching now because nobody knows it all except God. But so I want to really appreciate all of you that have time to call in and your emails and your text messages during this program. You have indeed added value and God will keep and bless each and every one of you. Of course and indeed we cannot thank you enough for those of you that have been supporting us financially for this program. God will keep you and prosper you. Definitely, in Jesus' name. And above all, those of you that have time to watch and even call in to disagree, you are still adding value to this program. And when we give him all the glory, we give him all the honor. Yes, uh, like I did say last week, and we have continued on the special deliverance that is taken on. Like I said, every Wednesday is for deliverance. But this time we are concentrating on demons, male and female demons, harassing people, as it were, in the state of dream. And some of you hear voices, some of you get some, where they call your name, some of you feel evil presence. That is the essence of the program. And that is for every Wednesday, and the time is 10 o'clock in the morning to 12 noon, and after 12, of course. And people have been blessed. So people come from Birmingham, from outside London, and some come from Ireland. So every Wednesday, so if you don't come in this Wednesday, you plan the next Wednesday. But at times, it's good to come in having a particular uh, purpose in mind. Like we are praying about demons. And I tell you, it's not an easy area. That's why not every man of God gets into that kind of topic. And some of them end up uh, telling you there is no, nothing like demon. And because, of course, they don't have solution and they live in denial but i'm telling you the bible recognizes demon <laughs> and jesus christ recognized demon and dealt with them and we will deal with them as well in jesus name now so be part of that service of course our normal service for sunday in the morning from nine o'clock every sunday to from first and nine o'clock in the morning to eleven thirty, and the second service from 12 to 2 p.m once you attend our service, you will feel the presence of God. That one I will assure you. I may not assure you a good message or I'm not too sure, but there's something I'm too definite that the God is with us. Elohim, the King of Kings. And you will feel his presence. And in his presence, there is liberty and uh, freedom, deliverance, healing, breakthrough. Above all, there is the peace that pastor told understanding, even when all seems not to be well. And uh, so that's why you don't die before your time. Everybody will die at the same time. So, but we don't die before our time. Uh, because the, the plan of Satan is to make you, I mean, he wants to program death before your time. And uh, we none of us will die will, before our time. Only God knows our time. And we depend on him. And it is well, and God bless you, choir. Let your living water flow by my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control. In every situation that has trouble. Let your, let 
of Jesus we never fail from beginning to eternity the blood we never fail the blood of Jesus never fails the blood of Jesus never fails from beginning to eternity the blood of Jesus we never fail the blood of Jesus never fails. The blood will never fail. From beginning to eternity, the blood will never fail. Oluwa, the blood will never fail. Papa Mio, the blood will never fail. From beginning to eternity, the blood will never fail. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus never fails. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus never fails. Ah, 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 ah. From beginning to eternity, it will never fail. Who is wonderful is Jesus. Who is powerful is Jesus. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. I have a father, almighty father, who is king of kings, lord of lords. I have a father. There's somebody looking at me. Every cause of frustration in your life, anything you do, there's near, near, you will nearly get it. It is over. This is your third time watching this program. And the, I'm telling you from today, and I reverse every cause upon your life because somebody caused you. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 26, verse 2. He said, costless curse. I declare it costless curse. There's somebody that you will never cry over your son. The enemy, are, they are playing and making a mockery of the destiny of your son. Something has changed in the realm. Two days ago, you have been fasting. And, and every pot... In the realm of the spirit where they are using to invoke the destiny of your son has been broken. You are looking at me. And that there is somebody there. You will not dance naked. You will not dance naked. In Jesus' name. Alright. I, I want to once again welcome each and every boy. But know that song. That the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus never fails. If I use it this week. The, the blood of Jesus never fails. The blood of Jesus never fails. From beginning to eternity, the blood will never fail. Oluwa, the blood will never fail. Baba I love it. I like it, Baba Mi, because I love it. It is clear that the blood will never fail. I don't know who you are. In fact, if I were you, Make sure you don't. I don't know who is looking at me. The key to that door has been delivered. And once I lay hands on you, is the end of that matter. Barrenness is the end. There's somebody there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
I reject it. You, that bleeding has stopped. You are looking at me. This time around, you will carry that baby. And God bless you. God bless you. Now, oh, I'm hearing again. The blood of Jesus never fails, but the, the choir, you got to go. And God bless you. you if not, I'll keep singing, and the time will be over. Now, because I need to do some teaching, and uh, yesterday I began a very simple but interesting teaching. I know it is interesting to me. And I'm sure because from the way viewers called him, the text message, in fact, the man that texted yesterday uh, about his, the church he was going before, in, uh, in fact, that church, I won't call the name of the church. I'm, I, I'm, I'm being, uh, I won't call the name of the church. And I won't call the name of the church. Echadai, Echadai. He, the man text, he talked about what happened there. I'm telling you where they are groomed not to pray that Jesus has fasted for you, that Jesus has prayed for you. It was a text message. Can you go back there? The man was reading a text message being taught in the church that people have been, some pastors are telling you. And these are Americanized teachings that people are getting now. Most of all these churches there, they have all this connection in America. All those American churches, Fake. All of them, they are not preaching Christ. So I'm telling you, so all those, those of you that have time, you invite them and they line up. Leave all those things that you are seeing. You know, it's called spiritual American wonder. You know, wonders have begun in America from anything that goes to America will, be, will, become, will carry some element of wonder. Where they used to do magic before, it used to be localized. Once it got to America, it became globalized. They improved and became magic is like a science. I'm telling you, and, and, and you have people who earn salary because he is a magician. Now, what am I saying? This teaching that we we're, we're not hearing, you don't need to pray. God has, I mean, Jesus has prayed for you that the matter was settled at the cross. The matter was not settled at the cross. I'm telling you, the matter was not settled at the cross. If the matter was settled at the cross, why did Jesus Christ go to, why did he go to hedge? Why did he, how did he, he received the key of David, not at the cross. If Jesus Christ has died in the cross, and he didn't go to the hedge and say, all you gates, be lifted up. And there was a question and saying, who are you? Who are you? He said, what? You are asking about me? Look, I am not the first Adam. This, I am a different Adam. The, look, I am not that Adam and if you messed up. Look, I am the Lord, strong, mighty in battle. If you want war, I give you war. They say, oh God, cool down. It is in the Bible. Psalm 21. Psalm 24. From verse. From verse yes. He said, lift up your heads, O ye gates. So, he, he, so uh, yeah, shout it with us, yes. He said, lift up your heads, uh -huh. O ye gates, uh -huh. and be ye lift up, uh -huh. ye everlasting doors, uh -huh. and the king of glory shall come in. Then, listen, who is this king of glory? So, there was a question. O you gates, Jesus Christ prayed a prayer. He said, Peter. No, no, okay, okay, probably soon I come. Okay, finish it. I said that. He said, who is this king of glory? Yes, I'm with you. The Lord, uh -huh. strong and mighty. Uh -huh. The Lord, mighty in battle. What were Jesus Christ saying this? Is it at the cross? No. No, at the cross is for repentance, reconciliation. The cross reconciled us unto God. But the finished matter <coughs> was a battle. And Jesus Christ prepared us and said, if they battled me, they will battle you. If they fought you, they will fight me. How did he survive? Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was always fasting and praying. So if Jesus Christ, who, who is the Son of God, Satan can tempt, Satan can hinder, Satan can harass, talk less me and you. The sons and daughters of Ubenke and Umbafo. And, and people are teaching in the church these days because they have been covenanted. 
and they have agreed souls, and they begin to build big churches where they got the money from, you cannot say. And they, and they change their message overnight to keep the spirituality in the church and begin to tell you that there are no demons. The matter that somebody tell you he does not believe in God does not mean he is not demonic. He's telling you that I don't know God. Pharaoh told Joseph, I mean, told uh, Moses, get out, man, get out. Who is that? Who? Yeah, I don't know who to allow you to. I don't know your God. But today, so that's why I'm zeroing down yesterday. We began by saying that why Jesus Christ came, according to the scripture, which we shared yesterday, is to undo the works of darkness. So he said that so there is a work of darkness. And we said yesterday that Satan is running about, finding whom he will devour. In fact, and indeed, yeah, because uh, before you go there, in fact, and indeed, I now began to realize there's something you don't know why the end time is fierce. As long as you have flesh, Satan will fight you. As I sat in this studio, I have never said it before. So those of you listening to me, please, you can come to this, to either disagree so that I can learn. Nobody knows it all. As I sat here, I, I said, okay, which angle will I come from in light of our, my discussion, the reality of Satan, that you need to fight your battle. I heard clearly why Satan has... Why Satan has right over our flesh? What? That's why, the, that's why before Satan can get you, it must get your flesh before it will get the soul. I said, what? First Peter 2, 11. As if you, if you are in charge of your flesh, if your flesh has been regenerated, strong in the Lord, energized, Satan cannot get you. Because Satan is only permitted to attack you at the realm of the flesh. Hey, my God. I have never heard this message, and, and I'm going to take you scripturally. In fact, I began to take notes. I was putting down some notes as, as I was hearing right in the studio. I'm coming from a different angle. I have never said it before, that Satan has a right. That's why Satan can challenge Jesus Christ on the things of the flesh. Of the things of the eye, the lust of the eye and the lust of flesh, not of the soul, because he will get the flesh before he aims at the soul. Yes, sir. First Peter chapter two verse eleven. Yes, sir. He said, "Whereas angels, uh -huh. which are greater in power and might, uh -huh. bring not really accusation against them yes. before the Lord, uh -huh. but these as natural brute beasts, yes. made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things." That they understand not. Okay. No, is that first what? First Peter chapter. Oh, so my dear. You know, uh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. First Peter 2 11. First Peter 2 11. Yeah. It's a dearly beloved. Yeah, yeah. I, I beseech you. Uh -huh. As strangers and pilgrims. Uh -huh. Abstain from fleshly lust. Abstain from fleshly lust. Which war against the soul. Which war against the soul. Oh boy. Look. Today, my goodness. As I sat here, I was trying to come on the aspect of, and, and I just heard from the realm. I he said that, look, Satan is permitted to fight the flesh. That's why the flesh will never go to heaven until it is, until on the, on the last day where it has been, in your, your soul, it has been um, uh, regenerated. That's why when you die, everything goes up. Only flesh remains. A, a woman beings buried. They don't bury so. The soul appears before God. Appears before Elohim. To know where to be. Is it with him? Or somewhere else? He says, repeat that scripture again. First Peter 2, 11. I will tell First you. Peter 2, 11. Yes. He said, Dearly beloved, yes. I beseech you, uh -huh. as strangers and pilgrims, uh -huh. abstain from fleshly lusts, uh -huh. which war against the soul. Which war against the soul? So our body, as it were, we, we are made in three parts. The body, the soul, and the spirit. The spirit of God in man 
the soul, your perfection, your, your will, everything. And that one is your personality. Your, your soul. And the body is this one that you are seeing. The Bible is saying that. So that is why Satan, that's why when somebody tells you, that's why you can see a man of God, no matter how anointed, he can fall. He can delay. No matter how anointed a man of God is, or a, or a woman of God, if she is not careful or lives a careless life, the man of God, the anointing will fail the man of God. Samson was the most, one of the most anointed men on the face of the earth. It was flesh that brought him to ground zero. Samson, anointed in the womb, ordained by God, Carry the power no man is here to carry on the face of the earth. The lapse of Delilah brought him to zero, to ground zero. So, no matter the anointing, no matter the power, something, flesh, finished him. A man that had power. Why? Romans 13, 14. Romans 13, 14. Be, Romans 13, 14. Romans 13, 14. Yes, sir. But put you on the Lord Jesus Christ uh -huh. and make not provision for the flesh. He said, make no provision for the flesh. To yes. fulfill the lust thereof. Because if you fulfill the lust of the flesh, Satan will have a stronghold and a legal right over you. And Satan is permitted to deal with the flesh. In fact, I will say something else that will shock, that will shock you. That's why I said, Satan is the prefect in the domain of flesh. Immediately, Adam and Eve ate of the fruit in the garden. Satan took over the flesh of man. That's why you nobody has ever taught the children how to steal, or to curse, or to think lustfully. But we can teach our children how to pray, how to do good, how to cook. But you don't need to teach your child how to insult people. I've not seen any man that has, uh, you have, have you school of insult or abuse? No, but people learn it overnight, and, and you see a child abuse. And say words. That child is being controlled by forces. Because Satan, in fact, in fact, it was clear. I had it. I had it. Yeah, yeah. He said, Satan is the prophet of the flesh. And that's why Satan is permitted to attack your flesh. But what he is after is not your flesh, it's your soul. But he needs to deal with the flesh. To get your soul. Because the soul is in between the, the spirit of God and the domain of Satan, flesh. I got it. I got it. I got it now. I got it. The spirit of God in man, that when God illuminates that spirit, you get understanding. Body. That is not regenerated. That's why uh, Galatians 5 from 17. Galatians 5. He, he said there is an atomistic relationship. A battle. A constant battle. Between doing good and doing bad. Between loving people and hating people. That's why somebody can, uh, can kiss you today. And tomorrow the same person can abuse you. And what is that? Galatians 5 from verse 17. Yes, sir. For the flesh lusted against the spirit. Uh-huh. And the spirit against the flesh. Uh -huh. And these are contrary, the one to the other. Uh -huh. So that you cannot do the things uh -huh. that you would. Uh -huh. But if you be led of the spirit, uh -huh. you are not under the law. Exactly. So you, you are not under the law of the flesh. Because there's a law of the flesh. The law of the flesh. The flesh wants you to take, uh, to eat. To party all day, to be free, to do as you like. That is flesh. 
If you live as you like, according as you like, you will become a problem to your son. But that is flesh. The flesh wants you to watch television all day, all night. That is flesh. The flesh wants you to drink all day, all night. That is flesh. Because flesh is so impatient. That's why flesh is so impatient. When you are hungry now, you are hungry. But once you feed it, it's okay. After a while again, the same flesh is shouting as if he has never eaten before. That's why flesh is ungrateful. So those who are flesh, who are who are fle who are fleshly prone, we are ungrateful. You, you can never satisfy them. There are people you can never please in this world. No matter what you do, they are less spiritual. And uh, the last we open, I will not. I want you to challenge me on what I said because it will help me. I said that Satan is the domain of the flesh. I'll give you an example. The Bible says that don't fear those. Jesus Christ said, don't fear those who can kill what? Who can kill the flesh. Who can kill the flesh. But fear those who can kill the flesh and the spirit. I mean, and the soul. So, because flesh can be killable. You can kill somebody and succeed. That, if any time you kill somebody, today I was just hearing uh, something. When people kill others, those people have taken the sins of those people. That is why the Bible says, vengeance is mine. If you act and keep, you have carried the sin of those people. I'm telling you, that's why the Bible says, vengeance is mine. So you don't have to kill people. You don't have to undo people. You don't have to show wickedness to people. Allow God to show. God says, ow, vengeance is mine. It's not you. Love people. Show love to people. Let God do that which only him can do. Yes. Well, I gave you a scripture. Go to Romans 7. Go to Romans 7. Paul says that the things I want to do, I cannot do them. He was talking about flesh. A whole man, anointed. A man that wrote this, the, this, this uh, episode of the Bible. <laughs> Once I get into heaven, at uh, the time I will get out there, Paul, you did well. I will do so. Romans 7 from verse 14. Yes. For we know that the law is spiritual, uh -huh. but I am carnal, uh -huh. sold under sin. Uh -huh. For that which I do, uh -huh. I allow not. Uh -huh. For what I would, uh -huh. that I do I not. Uh -huh. But what I hate, uh -huh. that do I. Please get me that scripture that says that you are not, you are permitted. No, you, you are that. God, God said, don't fear those who kill the flesh. Because the flesh is killable. Matthew 9, 10. God bless you. 28. Matthew 10, 28. Look, I have a teaching I'm, I'm going to expand. I had it here on the telly. I'm shocked. It says that that's why they can poison a child of God. That's why they can kill people, some who are evil. Even when you have prayed and prayed, the affliction still co comes. Because Satan has a right. Sorry, Satan has power, not a right. He has a power over flesh. But he doesn't have power. Over your soul. And you can challenge him. But I'm, I'm, that is where I'm coming from. Yes, I'm with this. Matthew 10, 28. Yes. And fear not them which kill the body. Who was saying that? Jesus. He said, don't fear those who kill the flesh. But are not able to kill the soul. Exactly. Because that, uh -huh. But ahead. rather uh -huh. fear him uh -huh. which is able to destroy uh -huh. both soul and body in hell. Egbe. Egbe. Now, what is the proof? I have, if it is in court, evidence. Which section of the Bible, subsection, according to law, go to Job. That's why God has said, Job, I permit you to deal with Job on the realm of flesh. Don't go beyond that. <laughs> Job chapter 1. From verse 8 to 12, Job 1, 8 to 12, as I, I round up. Yes. Chapter 1. Yes. And 
And the Lord said unto Satan, yes. Has thou considered my servant Job, uh -huh. that there is none like him in the earth, uh -huh. a perfect and upright man, uh -huh. one that feareth God uh -huh. and is with evil? Go ahead. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Yes. Does Job fear God for naught? Mm -hmm. Has thou not made a hedge about him uh -huh. and about his house uh -huh. and about all that he had on every side? Uh -huh. Has thou that has blessed the work of his hand, uh -huh. and his substance is increased on the land. Go ahead. But put forth thy hand now, uh -huh. and touch all that he had, uh -huh. and he will cause thee to thy face. Go ahead. And the Lord said unto Satan, uh -huh. Behold, all that he had is in thy power. Uh -huh. Only upon himself uh -huh. put not thy forth thy hand. Okay. So Satan went forth from the press of the Lord. Oh, and that was whatever Job had. His businesses, he died, he killed his children. It's in the Bible, a popular story that people hate. Including me. I said, how can God say? But it is a lesson. Then if you go to Job 2, God to allow him to deal with his flesh. When the, there was boil all over Job, but he didn't touch his soul. But as a child of God, you can have the power and the authority to stop the devil both in the realm of the body. First, because if he doesn't get the body, he cannot get the soul. Some people commit crime because of poverty. Some people, dis some people will want to have the thought of suicide tendency because of sickness. I'm tired of this sickness. And they want to kill themselves, which is wrong. It's the work of Satan. Some people want good marriage and they work for it. And they don't see it. It's the work of Satan. And some will say, I'm tired. I won't go to church again. I'm enough. Satan will say, I hear you. Please, I am waiting. What is the lesson? And I pray. And my, my prayer is this. My Lord and my God, you will empower us to overcome the forces of darkness. They will not, Satan will not overcome. He will not prevail against each and every one of us. All my viewers, our children, our beloved ones, our wife, our husband. Our brothers, our sisters, Satan will never derail us or frustrate us to a point that we will deny our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we bless you for today's revelation. In Jesus' name I pray. All right, the lines, I'm sure the lines have been open since, and uh, the last, okay, there's a caller from where now? Well, we, I'm sure there are so many texts already. Mary from Belgium. How are you, Sister Mary from Belgium? How are you, ma? Fine, sir. Fine, sir. Good evening, ma. I'm with you. Yeah. Yes. Mary? Yes, sir. Yes, ma. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Trusting God is food of food. Please, oh, I'm trusting God of food of food. Uh, okay, you and your husband there. I hear your husband. Your husband is uh, 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 is trying to tell you. You should have said it to all. Oh. I my brother, I just pray Lord, that your trust on God will not be in vain. So I use you as, I use you as a point of contact. How long have you people been married now? For, for three years to four years now. I know it's fine. Just relax if you come. If you come. Or, or rather, it has come. My Lord and my God, we are asking in the name of God, let there be visitation. My father will Amen. pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Just like the parents give back to them, they should give back to their own. And you said in your word, increase and multiply. Father, let them be part of the, the fulfillment of that call mission. In Jesus' most powerful name, I have prayed. In fact, and indeed, I use you as a point of contact to all my viewers in the same um, situation and circumstances. God bless you, sir. All right? Chica from Italy. How are you, Chica from Italy? I'm fine. Good evening, sir. I will tell you, my brother. God bless you. Amen. I want you to pray for my, for, for, for me and also for my brothers, especially for my, especially for my first brother because he's not moving forward. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, Chica, no problem. Tell you and your brother, tell him that the way out now to move forward is not just one of prayer. I will pray, but it's good okay. that we should be serious with 
the Lord. He may be, he may be in the Lord. I don't know. But whatever it is, let him not give up. I'm letting you know that there is a power above every other power. And let, him, and let him not be tempted to do anything that is bringing him into trouble. And I pray. But I use Chica's brother and himself as a point of contact to all my viewers. My father, my all, all my prayers. That the way you touch me, Father, touch every person, including them, in their own way, at their own special time. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My father, my all frustration or frustrating moment has ended in the life of these ones. In Jesus' most powerful name, I pray. All right, sir. Uh, Chica, thank the Lord for calling. Yes, we have so many texts. Yes, text. Message that we do. God bless you, Pastor. Thank you for your prayer last week. I passed my first stage of interview. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. I, want, I want to pray for me to pass the final stage all right. of interview. God bless you. Oh, it's all right. You should call it. Thank God. It was God that did it for you. And you study. As you have studied, the, the, if you pass the first, the final one, God will hear your cry. And I use it as a point of contact for those of you who write in any exam, other professional exams or any exam for that we are asking as you study. Luke 2.52, the favor of God and man should be your favor. All right? In Kechi from London, how are you? How are you, ma'am? I'm, fa I'm fine, sir. Good evening, sir. I'm with you, ma'am. Yes, sir. Mm. Uh, Father, uh, Pastor, I thank you for what the advice you gave me last year. I was looking for the truth of the room. Yeah. So you asked me the church I'm going. I told you that you, I told you the church I was going that time, but I was going Mountain of Fire before. So you told me that I should go back to Mountain of Fire where I was worshiping before. So I went there. Before you know it, God answered me with a bouncing baby gear. She's a month and the two days today. So I want to thank you for the advice you gave me. I'm very grateful. Yeah. And I want you also to pray for me so that I will soon put my paper so that God will answer me so that I will get my paper. In fact, your the baby is saying amen there. And that amen is the same man. Well, you amen. see, I like what she said. She called. She said something. I said, go back to Mountain of Fire. I'm, I'm of Jesus' sanctuary. Once you see me put I, one thing I tell you, look, you know, we don't have a hidden agenda. But, and I said, go back to where you were. Go, don't leave where, to, go back to where you were. Because if you, a place of prayer is a place of prayer. And I asked her, do they pray there? He said, yes. I said, go back there. But we thank God that answered you. In that place. And God will answer all my viewers. And um, for your paper, the same God that did the impossibility for you uh, will do it again. And congrats. And uh, agree to your baby for me. Tell her I can hear. I don't know whether it's a boy now, a girl. Uh, a boy? Okay. No. A boy. Andrew says a yeah. boy. Okay. okay. Andrew went into the spirit. And thank you so much. And God bless you. All right. Destiny from Luton. How are you, Destiny? How are you? I'm fine. Yes. I will tell you. Hello. Hello. Yes, Destiny. I'm with you. Um, I would like you to pray for my exam that I have coming up with with my sister, and we're applying for a scholarship. Wow. Okay, but have you studied? Yes. Good. You are. Destiny, you are, I like that. Oh, I, li I like your confidence. Since you have studied, I pray that if the God that gave you the energy and the understanding to study, and the same God that will give you favor, you and your sister, you will do exceptionally well, and both of you will have scholarship, because you must write A's. In Jesus' most powerful name, I have prayed. All right? Amen. Yeah. Oh, Destiny, I like that. Bye-bye. I hope you are praying for me, Destiny. Yeah. Aha. Oh, oh, why do you, oh, Destiny. Destiny, always pray for me that there's a seat in heaven meant for me. Always ask God that that seat is for Pastor Please. All right? I want you. He said, please, Pastor thank you for the work you are doing. Yeah. God bless you. Please, can you pray for me? I have the heel pain. For the past one year, please pray for me, sir. So, Father, I will, uh, Father, this task is no barrier. Father, we are asking for a touch. 
a touch in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. But if I were you, send us on, let us send you some prayer points and you pray. When you pray, you will send us email, we send you some prayer points and you will get your result on the third day of your prayer. On the third day of your prayer. Send email, tell us the, this issue and they will send us a prayer point. But Father, I have spoken to her, it is well. I she will pray, my Father, let God hear her in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You will never vegetate in Jesus' name. I will do so. Yes? Okay, that do. Now, the, the point is this. Look, I'm so, I'm so excited when people they read that text of yesterday. Because when you go to places, you see, where the church is not a place of eating food every Sunday. A church is not a place where you eat food every Sunday. But they are rice, momo, a goosey. A church is a place of prayer. Jesus Christ drove out people who sell food and gare and, and all books in the church. So once you begin to hear, Pastor, somebody tells, yes. He said, yes, yes, thank yes. you so much, Pastor. Listen, I want you. He said, thank you so much, Pastor. Uh -huh. This message is an end time message. Go ahead. Because it's not hard much today. The Bible says in the last days, people will run after sweet messages yes. that pleasures the ears. W meanwhile, the people after such messages are still stagnated and their fake preachers are prospering. Mm -hmm. I was going to a church where the pastor used to brag about his mansion mm -hmm. that is worth 1.5 million pounds. Exactly. I'm mocking the church people. No, just hold on. You, you will continue. There's a caller because the caller is so that he can. Is uh, that Quinsley? How are you, sir? How are you, man? Uh, good evening. And would you reduce the volume of your TV set? And would you, ma? Okay. Yes. Good. Good evening. I would like if you can pray for my school. For your school, how? Yeah. For your school, how? My studies because I have an exam. Uh, what did you study? Yes. You sure? Yes. So, <laughs> uh, what did you study? Um, I studied history and science. Okay, I pray. Father, I lift up your son. I lift up the young man. I use him as a point of contact. I, Father, as you study, you will never be distracted. No evil friend, male or female, they will not disturb you. Internet will not distract you in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, let God give you memory, give you good one. As you study, you will excel in Jesus' powerful name, I pray. So, you all right? God bless you for calling out. Keep studying and be respectful and responsible at school. Respect your teachers, you will go far in life. Okay. Re okay. Can you even pray for my brothers, please? Okay, I've prayed for all of you before. And bye-bye, and God bless you. For including you and your brother in Jesus' name, all the children in, that is under the influence of my voice, all of you will pass exam. All of you, as you study, not if you go to internet and after that you say pastors have prayed. If you study, you will pass natural in Jesus' name. Okay, Lawrence from Italy, how are you, sir? Lawrence. Good evening, sir. God bless you, sir. Yes, sir, I will too. I really appreciate your teaching this evening, even yesterday. God bless you. Amen. Apostle Paul make us to understand that we should not walk after the flesh, but the spirit, which is Romans chapter 8, he make it clear. Mm. But today, I, I don't understand, but I will never understand that. Mm. But what I want to let you understand that God Almighty that empowers you and your teaching has now become a memorial before God. Because a lot of people who you yourself never see face to face, who, who you never believe that they are watching your program, both small, both big, both old and young, as they begin to pray for you, may God Almighty, the labor you labor for the kingdom of God, 
you are going to get the reward and sit in the, that right hand seat of with my heavenly father in the name of Jesus. That is Amen. my prayer for you. Amen. God bless you, sir. You have really touched many lives and so. Amen. Thank you so much. Lawrence, as always, your words have been fantastic. You know, at times people give us millions in words. This one is a billion, and it helps to keep us on. And God bless you, sir, Lawrence, for your gracious words, as always. It's well with you. Shahid, is it Shahid from? Shahid. Shahid from London. Shahid from London. How are you, sir? How are you, ma? I'm good, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm with you, ma. Yes, I just want you to pray for me for healing, sir. For what? Healing. My, well, are you born again? My Lord and my God, I lift up your daughter. Jeva, it's your daughter. She's born of the Spirit. She has confessed that Jesus is the Lord of her life. My Father, my all, and you said the daughter of Abraham, the daughter of Zion, will not be will, will not remain in affliction. Father, you said uh, you asked James asked, is anyone afflicted? Let him pray. And Father, she has, I, I'm sure she, she has been praying. We don't know about the sickness, and we, and we don't want to know. But you are all knowing. And whatever, in fact, I use as a point of contact to all my viewers. Testimonies has come. People have healed of cancer, of tumor, of disease. No man can do it except you. And we have always ascribed the glory to you. Father, therefore, I use her as a point of contact. Father, this is an opportunity to promote Jesus in the life of this lady and everyone under the blood of her voice in the same situation or circumstances. Father, heal them. Heal every organ of their body. Is it blood disease? Father, heal. Is it affliction? Heal. Whatever that it is that man cannot do. Father, we are asking for a touch. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Alright, ma. And God bless you. Oluwa Shegun from Manchester. How are you, sir? Oluwa Shegun. Oluwa Shegun from Manchester. Okay, Oluwa Shegun. Oluwa yes. Okay, sorry, my yes. dear. I saw yes, Lua Chef Good evening, sir. God bless you, Good evening, Pastor. God will continue to bless you, to uphold you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord has been using you to bless me and my children and my husband. Amen. And he that has started with you will not leave you in Jesus' name. Amen. He will help you. started where you end where in Jesus' name. Amen. I just want you to pray for me and my children that uh, God should protect us in Jesus' name because there has there's been so many attacks mm. on us mm. since. Uh, November. Okay. So I called and you said I should continue to pray and I'll be praying since then. Okay, no, okay, let so me, I, okay, I, I got it, I got it. My father and my all, the blood of Jesus, the Revelation 12, 11, it say they overcame him by the blood. It's your word. So therefore, Father, these ones, we soak that family in the blood of our Lord Jesus, in the pool of the blood of Jesus. In fact, every, everyone under the influence of my voice, of any faith, other Muslims, they watch. Other faith, they watch. Hindu, they watch me. I soak all of them in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, the arrow, the affliction of the enemy will never near them. They will, Father, none of you will die before your time. Not no affliction. You will never be paralyzed. The organs of your body will never fail you, nor your blood. In Jesus' most powerful name, I have prayed. And God bless you, and it is well. Moses from Italy, how are you? Moses. Hello, sir. Hello. I'm with you, sir. Hello. I'm with you. Moses, I'm with you. Or oh, we read the text. Hello? Moses. I'm fine. I'm fine. You can't talk again? Okay, I'm sure we're having a problem with Moses. God bless you, sir. Read this text. I'm with you. He said, Pastor, sir, please yes. pray for the release of my visa to join my husband in the UK, Thelma. So, so Thelma, Father, you, Father, we are praying for Thelma. Father, you said, what you have joined together, let no one put asunder. She said, she wants to join the husband in the UK. So, Father, we're asking every documentation, things will work perfectly well. In Jesus' most powerful name, we have prayed. Daniel from London, how are you, sir? Daniel. Hello? Yeah. Daniel, okay. Daniel, how are you, sir? How are you, Daniel? I'm fine. Good. I want, I want to thank God because I hope I pass my 11 plus and I thank you for my brother and my family. Good. Oh, he said he passed. 
Oh, that, uh, that is good. That is good. You see, you see why we watch this program? Children are so into, into this program. Adults, both old and young, women, men, Muslims, Hindus, they, they come. They send us email. It is only God that can do this. So Daniel, it is well with you. And look, Angela, you got to run. Angela, you got to run. I have barely a second. Angela, yes, I'm with you. Angela. Yeah, hello, Pastor. Good, good evening, sir. My dear, quick, quick. You're because of time. God bless. Oh, time, time. I just want to thank you very much for this program. Amen. You know, I have been blessed to this program. Amen. Thank you very, very much, Pastor. Amen. You know, for some years now, my spirit has been asking me to, you know, to speak to you. Okay. About my life, about my education. Okay. A lot has happened in the past to me. Yes. I've prayed, I've prayed. No, it's all good. I just want you to help me pray and pray. I will, I will pray, Angela. I will know. I will go to, uh, because of time, you will soon be cut off because of time. But I've noted you. I mean, your name, Angela, I will pray for you. I'll keep praying for you, and you will know that I began to pray for you today. You will know. Let God keep you, Angela. Encourage you. Wipe your tears. Make you great. Don't be downcast. I was not too fantastic, but God made me fantastic. He will make you fantastic in Jesus' name. Look, I got to close. I got to leave here, but I'm going to see you by his grace on Saturday. God bless you and bye-bye. How we 